Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another haul video for you today. Now, this is going to be very similar to our last haul, where this is just stuff that we've kind of sourced over the past couple weeks um, from various locations. And I'm going to turn it over to Kathy, and she's going to show you what we were able to get at those various locations over the past couple weeks. Hey, guys. Yeah. I going to say, I think it's all shoes, but I just saw a couple of items that are not. So. If you're not new here, you probably know that's mostly what I source yeah. these days. Um, I still like clothes, but I just usually run out of time. Um, so this day I found this nice pair of Danner boots. They're kind of like, I don't know, just dirty. Yeah. <laughs> but they're Danner boots, so I grabbed them. Um, these are size 10 men's. And yeah, Danners. Um, this specific model I looked up just because I was like, well, they're kind of dirty. I don't know if they'll still sell for a good amount. This model looked like it retailed for like $319 or something wow. crazy. Um, so even with the flaws, I saw sold in the like $80 to $100 range. So that's what I'm going to hope for on these guys. Again, these aren't typed in yet, are they? No, so I was gonna put them yeah. on this bag, but I need to keep the receipts. So we usually shoes. try to get our hauls typed, typed in before, we, before even... we record. Yeah. And then hope to get them live before the video goes yeah. live. <laughs> so. uh, but that's probably not gonna happen with these <laughs> last two hauls. <laughs> Uh, October is going to be a crazy month, so yes, we'll see. Yes, because our, our kids. kids, we get, in our school district, they get two weeks off after every school quarter. Yeah, and we'll see because they start so early. We started like August 2nd, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so so today days. is August, or sorry, October 6th. Tuesday, so it's starting this Friday. Or 5th, October 5th. And then they're off Friday, and then they're off for the next two weeks. So they don't go back till October 25th. So, yeah, that should be fun. Yeah. Um, It'll be great having them around, but we just don't yeah. get as much work done when keep them they're busy. at home. So I've been trying to, like, start a draft bank and stuff like that so I can at least get some listings up every day. Yeah. But we can still do whatever we got to do to keep them occupied and happy. So. Yeah. <laughs> just our yeah. our focus changes a little bit during those yeah. breaks. So. Get that's what, what we're, you got to do. <laughs> that's why we're saying it's going to be a busy that's month what we're do. That's why we do this in the first place. So. Yeah. Um, this is a brand I've never sold, but it looks like a nice boot. It's EMS. It is a small size. I saw that it had Gore-Tex plus Vibram soles, so I was like, it's probably worth it. These look like they're a women's size six. Um, I think I can pull around 40 or so dollars out of these. Um, and then that's gonna be plus shipping. So if I don't say plus shipping, just assume plus shipping. And then this is the brand Irish Setter, which I've sold several times. And it's always sold for a good amount. Um, I sold one last week for like 125 bucks or something. Yeah. Although those were in really, really good shape. But these are a little bit more worn in. But again, Gore-Tex, they got camo on them. Um, decent shape overall. I think I can get at the very, very least 50 bucks out of those. Yeah, any of these kind of like hiking boot look, you know, yeah. with the Vibram soles. Either work boots, Work hiking boots, boots, hiking boots, yeah. Outdoorsy stuff. Like Gore-Tex is basically waterproof and just like the vibram, warmer. Like yeah. it just helps with the weather. You know, some people like just outdoorsy living these days. So like <laughs> these kinds of shoes are just. What's wrong with those people? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. I couldn't do it, but I like to watch it. <laughs> um, these are some nice mirror. Oh my goodness. There's all kinds of notifications going on. going on. What was that ding over here? I don't know. <laughs> well, that might have been the laptop. <laughs> okay. I was like, what is. Okay. All right. These are some mirror hiking boots. So, again, <laughs> hiking boots. Um, women's size 8. Really good shape on these. And I've sold these before. I didn't look up comps, but I think I can get at the very least 50, maybe like 60 plus ship out of those. I know I pulled them from that bag, but I'm pretty sure they were supposed to be in that bag. Mm. Sometimes we bring stuff from our living room and it just yeah. goes all stuff over the place. Stuff gets from the back of the car to the living room. <laughs> stuff can get jumbled up. And... So. Alrighty. Uh, these are Lauren Ralph Lauren. I only grabbed these because they were in really good shape and fairly inexpensive. But yeah, um, just like a red sandal. Wedge, yeah. <laughs> wedge sandal, yeah. 
Um, I don't normally pick up more in Ralph Lauren or their shoes or their clothes that much unless they're super cheap. So we'll see how those do. I think I can get at least 30 bucks out of them, but possibly not. They are women's size eight. And then these are some Koi by Sunita. So I always love picking up Dance Ghost, Sunita, things like that. These are size 41. They'll probably sell right around 40 or so plus ship. These are the brand Duluth Trading Co. So I do like this brand. The shoes, I've had a harder time moving than the clothes, um, but these were in really good shape. So I grabbed them. They will sell, just maybe a little longer to sell. They're a men's 11 wide, so a good size. Um, I think I can probably get 35, 40 bucks out of those. Um, these are Cole Haan. I don't pick up all Cole Haan, but these were in decent enough shape. They're men's uh, 11 and a half. So just a, like a leather black sneaker. I thought these were nice because they seem like they could be dressed up or down. So mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are going back to work in the office. So this could probably work for business casual, yeah. but also just jeans casual. and a t-shirt yeah. kind of thing. So. And we got some Nikes. I don't normally pick up basic Nikes like this, but these were in really good shape, so I grabbed them. Um, a couple of hairs on them, but these are women's eight and a half. Almost any Nike I can at least get $30 plus shipping out of. These are super lightweight, so they'll ship first class as well. If you don't know what that means, it's just anything under a pound goes first class shipping, so just cheaper. Like rates did just go up, but it still should be just under $6. So five to six bucks is what those will cost to ship out. Versus anything over a pound is gonna cost you at least probably nine bucks down to ship out mm -hmm. at the very, very least. So uh, these are a kid soccer cleat size 11 toddler. So just a Dito's really good shape. Little cleats like this usually sell right around 20 plus shipping for me. Yeah, if you're looking to get into the cleats market, I think kids' cleats is a really good place to start because they grow you know, every year. Yeah, they grow every year, and you know, a lot of kids they want to try new sports out or whatever. Yeah. You know, when you get older, the kids tend to be in those sports longer, right? Yeah. So, and because they grow every year, like you need basically every season a new size. Yeah. So you're they're usually they in good usually shape. Sell really quickly. For yeah. Me, so. And people are looking on the secondhand market because they're not quite sure if their young kids are going to stick with the sport. Yeah. So they're trying to get stuff for cheap. <laughs> I'm always amazed because, like, honestly, kids' cleats don't retail for that much to begin with. So. Yeah. But I'm thankful people buy them for me for 20 bucks. <laughs> and we don't do a whole lot of cleats. No. We, we... If the, they have to be really cheap at the thrift, like under yeah. 5 bucks, preferably like 3 bucks or less. Yeah. Um, these are women's hoka, size 10. Uh, these are the... A Casa model. Never sold this model before. I noticed that the bottoms looked different than any other ones I've sold, so yeah. not quite so much tread, but so these are a little dirty. I just toss them in the washing machine with some old towels and they will come out looking pretty clean. Uh, I do just air dry them. So yeah, I've never sold this model, but I imagine I can get 50 to 60 plus shipping out of those at least. Hoka is a great brand if you've never heard of it. And so is Olakai. So I feel like I'm breaking all my rules. Like every shoe kind of looks <laughs> dirty and I don't like cleaning shoes. I must've got these like for really good deals or something. Um, but yeah, so these are some Olakai. Are these men's or women? Nine and a half. I think they're men's nine and a half. So just a nice slip on shoe. So Olakai's usually have this drop in heel, which is cool. So you can yeah. wear them up like that. Or if or you're like at the beach in. or something, you just want to do them like that, you can. So they're a great brand. Um, the insoles, like the insoles I can tell are kind of gross, but I can pull them out and just wash Ew. them. Like I'll just toss this in the washing machine. Yeah. And then I'll just wipe this with goof off, so. But yeah, Olakai and Hoka's, those are two very good bolos. They're probably one of our top 10 shoe yeah. brands that we look <laughs> out always for. Always pick up if they're in good shape. Yeah. All right, here's a couple clothes. So this I just bought because, well, I honestly actually tried it on for myself, but then I'm like, I'm never going to need this or wear this. But <laughs> it's not the brand that I picked it up for. The brand says seg segments. 
segments. Um, yeah. I've never heard of the brand, but it was 100% merino wool. So just like a nice base layer. So people do like being out in the cold, which I do not. So <laughs> that's why I was like, I don't need this. I probably already have one anyways. So I did look them up. I think I can get 25 or so out of that. So we'll see how that does. I think I only paid a couple bucks for it. $3.99 if it was full price. These I left in the bag too long and now they're crazy wrinkled, but um, I love selling this brand Outdoor Research. Usually sells fairly quickly and for decent money. These are a men's 32. They're just like a nice outdoorsy pant. They have a good stretch to them and they are like that ripstop fabric. So if you don't know what that is, these are very small, but it's like little squares like that. You probably can't even see it. Uh, but you yeah, can kind of tell how the it. material squares. So that's just rip stop, and I think it's intended to stop rips. So like, if oh, you're I hiking see. or whatever, and you like fall get and you get a rip, something. it should stop at instead of like ripping your whole pants. So right. Usually, any sort of material like that is a good seller. So doesn't have to be this brand. But yeah, um, I didn't look up comps. I pretty much would buy anything by this brand. Uh, if think, the price is right. Yeah, I think I can get like, <laughs> I think I can get 40 bucks out of these at least, but we'll see. Where did that other sweater go? I think this is the did bag. It, fall it rolled up. And then this one I wanted for myself, but I didn't fit me. <laughs> it's just <laughs> prana, um, but I love this color so much. It's just like yeah. a terracotta or whatever you want to call it, kind of like a heathered. At first I thought it was like pilling, which it does have a little bit of pilling. I don't know if you'd call that pilling because this kind of reminds me of the childhood's clothing brand that I love for my kids. And right when we buy it, it kind of looks like this, like mm -hmm. almost like a milled, I don't know. But it's a really nice sweatshirt, it says XL Women's. On the back it kind of has like a little detail to make it a little cooler than just plain. <laughs> so yeah, nothing amazing, but I think I can get 25 bucks out of that. Love selling prana stuff. All right. More shoes. I remember this day was kind of pricey, but like the shoes were good. So I'm t I took chances. Hopefully they sell. I know they'll sell. I just hope that they sell for the amount I want them to sell for. Right. So these are Ariat. They're Armand's 11. I just got a cool pattern on yeah, them. It's kind of cool. It's like a chuck -a boot. So yeah. Um, I'm hoping these sell for at least 50 plus shipping. I'm going to probably price them at like 60 to 65 plus shipping because I did pay up for those. Um, this is a new to me brand, but they were in like perfect condition and such a wide width that I was like, I can't leave these there. Yeah. The brand is just PW Minor, but I've done well with other like men's comfort shoes like trying to think drew the brand drew ortho mm -hmm. heel there's just a lot like any or like sass, sass kind of things, yeah. yeah so like vionic i would consider these an old man shoe like anything yeah. that looks like this look it up at least um i did look these up i think there were some sold in the like 40 dollar range and these do look basically new without box so they're a men's 10 and a half and the width says 3w so like really wide so yeah we'll try them out yeah like trying new things and then these are just some cool merrill older yeah those hiking look boots vintage so almost huh? they're quite vintage but yeah older style gore-tex yeah <laughs> always gotta get the gore-tex yeah i mean look at that tag like they don't do tags like that anymore so they probably are vintage it's just like old school and so just because she says always get the Gore-Tex. Don't always get the Gore-Tex. No, just yeah. always look up the Gore-Tex. If yeah, you see I something Gore-Tex or if, like Vibram, which I think is actually pronounced Vibram, <laughs> isn't it? If anything has Gore-Tex, it's probably worth it if it's yeah. in good shape. But um, Gore-Tex is just like a waterproof it, fabric that they yeah, use on the shoes. But it costs a lot to use yeah, it it's, for them. Yeah, so. because it's, what is it, licensing? They're licensing the, the fabric to the shoe company to use. So, so. it's... It's expensive for the shoes. I can't say I've ever it. found a pair of Gore-Tex shoes that I would not have picked up if they were at least in good enough shape. So. And a decent enough price, and yeah. Good price, yeah. So these are in women's eight. I think I can get at the very least like 50 bucks out of those. 
That's another thing we should mention. We're not talking about prices on our haul videos, but if you want to see how much we paid for mm -hmm. something, we do mention that when it does sell on our What Sold videos. Well, I'll tell you, like these Ariats were eighteen ninety nine. Okay, so yeah, that's that what is pricing up. We're paying up, but I mean, Ariat's such a great brand. Yeah. If I even double my money, I only have to sell them for like forty to forty five. Yeah. To double my money after fees, so I think I can definitely do that on these and like. This is a brand I want to have in my shop always, so even if I don't get a ton of money for it, it's going to get people in my store. Yeah. And I think everybody kind of values their time differently. So if you know if you don't want to spend eighteen dollars on a pair of shoes, or maybe you're not able to right away. Um, I definitely didn't use right. to. Right. So that's why we try to keep the sourcing prices out of the halls. We're just showing you how, like what we buy and how much it's going to sell for, so you can add in that unknown variable to see if it works for your business model, right? When I say pay up, like so, most of our thrifts. Sometimes I'll get stuff for a good deal, five ninety nine, things like that. But yeah. a lot of times, stuff is usually nine ninety nine to twelve ninety nine, and I'm okay paying that now, knowing most shoes are going to sell for at least thirty bucks. So, mm -hmm. and that's a good enough profit margin for me. But yeah, that might not be for you. Might not be for you. And you might not have, like, I need to list a hundred items a week. In which case, I need to spend, if I'm buying ten dollars shoes a pair, that's a thousand bucks a week that I'm spending out of my pocket. Yeah. I don't always do that. Like some things, obviously. Right. Shirts, three ninety nine. So just saying you do have to kind of get your cash flow in order before yeah. you can start getting all the expensive or more expensive stuff. Yeah. <laughs> expensive I definitely works. started by just <laughs> flipping dollar items and yeah. ten dollars. Kids and clothes and building up a little bit of extra money and then now we're to a point where it's almost impossible for us right. to spend. Now I can spend a thousand bucks a week, but I still have more than that to spend. I just don't ever get a chance because yeah. I just run out of time. Just stay consistent so. with it and then grow as you as you see fit to grow. Yeah. Uh, so these are just some nice Adidas. What are they? The, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Prime blue. They reminded me of Ultra Boost. I don't know if they're Ultra Boost, but. They're in really good shape, and I think that they'll sell for a good amount. I can't, I did look up comps, but I can't remember what they are. Where is the tag? Men's 13. So mm. I think they'll sell for uh, 50 to 60 or so plus shipping. They do have a little bit of staining on the knit, but I think I can get that out. So yeah. uh, this is my first time, well, not my first time finding, my first time buying, because they're always in crap shape when I find them, but Nike Metcons. So I always hear people talking about Nike Metcons, but yeah, they're usually super worn down when I find them. So these are a little bit worn, not too bad. They are those are, like a CrossFit kind of shoe or something? Or I, what? Yeah, I don't know exactly, but they do kind of remind me of like the sole is definitely Yeah, very, they got like an interesting tread pattern. Yeah, it's like definitely, yeah, I don't know. It does say it's a training shoe. Yeah, Lift, maybe run, just- run, jump, cut. Okay. So. For lifting, running, jumping, and cutting? <laughs> so probably like a grass fish. <laughs> okay. Uh, so these are also men's 13, probably donated by the same person, honestly. And I don't remember comps, but I think 50 to 60 at least out of those. And then these, I don't know if I even looked up comps, but they were in really good shape. And usually like the Adidas shoes with like the, I don't know, just more of like a, I would call this like a hiking sole, but yeah. Although they say running on the insole, so. And trail yeah, running. Trail running, yeah. yeah. So just that big tread usually does well, regardless of the brand. So uh, these are a men's nine. I think I can get at least 40, probably more out of those. I like that colorway. Yeah, it's, it's a nice pair of shoes. It's a little bit shape. of a pop of color, not the whole shoe. Yeah. <laughs> and I really like both of these. These are really nice. You wear shoes like this. Do they come in wide? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Nike only comes in wide in like those dad shoes yeah. and like yeah. maybe one other pair. Yeah. Alright. So these are Sorel. Love Sorel. One of my favorite brands to sell for sure. Women size nine. Just a nice little heeled suede booty. Those will probably sell. I did pay up for these too much to $16.99, but Sorel sells so good. I think these will sell for at least six, 
very least 50 but probably like 60 or so plus yeah. shipping and those are in season you know that's yeah. kind of the right in the fall time when those yep. shoes are <laughs> on everybody's feet um and then i got this little milk barn so this is a kid brand that i do like to pick up it, i haven't found it in a while i hope it still does well i don't want to tell you it does well if it doesn't anymore but it's organic cotton so like i feel like that's why it does well plus they just have cute little prints like this so yeah this is a six to twelve month i can usually get around 18 to 20 bucks out of a little one piece like that all right oh yeah i found this the other day i need to hurry up and list this because halloween oh yeah this is just piglet piglet it's real disney store brand so what I mean by that is it's like literally from Disney store versus yeah. Um, there's lots of thing costumes that are Disney that you can just buy at Walmart. And right. Stuff. So this you can only buy at the Disney store, which means it probably costs a lot to begin with. Uh, it's an 18 to 24 month. And I saw the sell through on the Disney store piglets were like over 100 percent and like most of them in the like $40 range. So. Definitely well, need to get that listed. Yeah. Hopefully someone's missing the little match to their Winnie the Pooh <laughs> Halloween thing. But yeah, if not, you know, that might not sell till next year, which is still okay. I think I only paid $3.99 for it. So and these are some Brooks. What are these called? Brooks Addiction. I have one other pair of these listed, although the ones I have listed are women's and they're missing insoles. These are men's in really, really good shape. Size 10 wide, 2E, so a little bit extra wide. Um, I think I can my probably <laughs> yeah, get probably 60 or so plus shipping out of those. So the big bag last. Um, these I found just the other day. Uh, so this store, thankfully, I mean, these aren't the laces that came with it, but this store always puts laces with shoes that they get with no laces, so that's always nice. That is nice. But these are just some women's Nikes. I've never sold this style, but it looks like it was selling for a decent amount. These are women's 11, and I think I can get 50 to 60 out of them. But speaking of ortho feet, missing laces, because this store does not give free laces <laughs> out with their pack or with their shoes. So. Huh. Thanks, Goodwill. And they charge more than anybody else for their shoes. Um, these are a women's 10.54E, so extra, 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 extra wide. Yeah. Um, I think we actually bought a pack of black laces recently to put in a pair of Vans we have, and I think there's more than one pair, so yeah, I could never sure find that <laughs> once right. we get this mess cleaned <laughs> It's up. probably in our shoe cleaning yeah. box, honestly. Um, Hopefully that at least had two pairs of laces and then I'll just lace those up. Otherwise the dollar store has laces. Yeah. So they're not great, but I'll just say the laces are not original and right. change them or use them. Anytime we don't have the laces, the original laces, we, we disclose that and the listing um, and then just let yeah. them know. I feel like even just putting a pair of dollar store makes them more desirable than yeah. not having any. Makes them easier to photograph right. too. And so I usually put those in. Um, so these are like some vintage Tommy denim cargo, not cargo. What is this? Carpenter? What do you call that? Carpenter, right? What the? Uh, yeah, Isn't maybe. Isn't that where you hold your hammer? A little hammer strap. <laughs> I, I doubt anybody who's ever worn those shorts had a hammer hanging in there, but. <laughs> I'm saying vintage. I technically don't know, but this is a paper tag. Let me see. I can't really tell a date. Oh, 1199. Yeah, they're vintage. Hey. So I kind of could tell by this that they were vintage, and then I saw the paper tag, and I was like, yeah. Those yeah. Are. And since I sold those overalls recently, obviously I don't think I'll get anywhere close to that. I sold a pair of vintage Tommy women's Y2K overalls for $175 like last week. So yeah. I thought kind of Tommy Hilfiger was going not cool anymore, but it seems to still be selling. I think for these shorts, I can probably get $35 to $40 out of. So, worth the pickup. All right, got some men's Timberland, like a work boot. These are men's size 13. Um, yeah. Nothing super special <laughs> about them, but I think they'll sell for $40 to $50 or so plus shipping. Uh, this is a brand I wouldn't necessarily recommend to pick up, but I have 
for some reason done well with it. I honestly think it's just sold at Walmart, but I don't know if it still is and like people just like the shoes and so they keep buying them on eBay, but sold are usually in the $25, $30 range. Earth Spirit. Yeah. So they're definitely not like a super nice shoe, although these are real leather on the top. So, I don't know, I think I, they're women's size 11. I think I can pull 25 to 30 plus shipping out of those. I think Walmart every once in a while has some good shoes. I've, my favorite pair of boots that I've ever owned was I bought from Walmart and they were just some Wolverine boots, which, you know, Wolverine's a nicer yeah. boot. But <laughs> yeah, I got those at Walmart 20 years ago, <laughs> something like that, <laughs> well, 15 years ago. Yep. I don't have them anymore. I don't know what happened to those boots. I miss them. When you don't need them. You don't work out in the <laughs> forest or wherever you. Right. I was a cabinet maker when I had them. <laughs> <Okay>, cabinet shop. <laughs> uh, these are just some cool Han heeled booties, size nine. Um, they have a little bit of wear. Not too bad. Chris is gonna fix them for me, which he knows now. <laughs> yeah, just a little thing right there. That's pretty easy. We have like some brown polish, so. Those will look Boot great. cream, yeah. yeah, different kind of colors that we But for the most part, they're in really up. good shape. Cole Haan, I pick up, sells kind of slow, but these might sell a little quicker because they're kind of in season, but I think I can get at least, very least 30, probably more like 35, 40 out of those. And then just a pair of women's Nikes. What size are these? Size nine. These are gonna go in the washing machine, but should clean up fairly decently and then probably sell for 35 to 40 plus ship. So there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's everything that Kathy has found over the past week or two. And we did just record another haul video that you have seen before this one. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check that one out. Um, very similar to this one, just a bunch of shoes that we've been able to source over the past couple weeks. And um, you know, like I was saying, we're only really able to go sourcing here and there as we're out and about currently. Um, and so that's kind of what works for us. But that is gonna do it for today's haul video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.